Hey everyone! In this video, I'll be showing you how I am studying for the USD Deep Med entrance exam. And in case you're wondering, what is USD Deep Med? It's an undergraduate degree that allows you to complete your pre-med in two years. I want to be a doctor, but I don't want to spend so long studying before I can actually learn what I want to study. So, yeah, that's enough chit chat. Let's get straight into it. Before we get into that, let me explain to you what the test is going to cover. So, there are two tests the USTET, which is the standard UST entrance exam, and there's the Leap Med entrance exam. Back when it was face to face, they had it on the same day, but they were still two separate exams. So, the US, USTET, it covered the basic knowledge such as the ones that you learned in grade such as the ones that you learned in grade school for leap med however there are six subjects and they are anatomy physiology biology eh, sorry anatomy physiology botany zoology chemics chemistry and physics so just a clarification botany is the study of plants and zoology is the study of animals. Now, UST didn't publicly share what the curriculum was for the UST Leap Med exam, so I had to do some digging. And by scrolling through Twitter and searching for Leap Med entrance exam, I was able to find an account that uploaded the curriculum to the public. And I really, really recommend this one, because if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be able to know what I should be studying. And the review notes are very nice to look at, and they even have video lectures. It's the perfect package. I'll, I'll put the link down in the description and yeah, I just wanted to shout out to them. Thank you, thank you for, for your service. Now that that's out of the way, let's get straight into my study method. So my study methods mainly rely on two different things and these are called active recall and space repetition. These are the cornerstones of memorization and understanding. In a later video, I'm going to explain the benefits and the importance of active recall and space repetition, but for now, we'll just get over the basics. Active recall means testing yourself and extracting the information from your memory. Countless studies have proven that when you do this, instead of rereading or being spoon-fed the information, the memory will grow stronger in your head. So a way to integrate this would be practice tests, um, answering questions after you learn something, or testing your friends, which is kind of fun. The second one is space repetition, and this means separating your reviews exponentially. So here is a graph. So here is a graph of what a perfect space repetition timeline looks like. As you can see, it the space between each reviews get bigger and bigger, and this is to reinforce making short-term memory into their long-term memory. If you review the same thing every day, it wouldn't be as effective as separating it exponentially. Again, I'll explain this in a later video. Now that the concepts are out of the way, let me explain to you how I practically use active recall and space repetition. So utilizing active recall and space repetition, there is a software out there that uses both and it makes studying so much easier. And let me show you what this software is. It's called Anki. It's a free flashcard software that utilizes space repetition. Here, I'll just show it to you. If you want to download it, it's completely free. Just go on your desktop and type AMP. Then click the first link and press download. I already have it downloaded. And here, I have all of these decks. So a deck is a set of flashcards. And you can use these flashcards to reinforce active learning. A sorry, active recall and space repetition. So here's a quick tutorial. So I'm gonna create a deck and I'm gonna put leap med. But I have no cards, that's why it says I'm done. So I'm gonna add a card and pick basic. So the front is the question and the back is the answer. Now all I need to do is find what I'm going to put in my cards. So here's a sneak peek of the reviewers that I got from that Twitter account. Again, the link to that in the description below. So here are the list of subjects. I'm not going to show you all of it because I'm actually not allowed to. And I actually um, recommend that you buy it yourself. But for the sake of this tutorial, I will show you a bit. So this is anatomy. So instead of just rereading it every day and then forgetting it when I sleep, I'm going to reinforce it in my Anki cards. So 
Let's see here what I have to memorize. Endomils. I cannot even pronounce it. Endomysium. It encloses each muscle fiber. Now, if I reread that later today, I would forget it tomorrow. So let me show you the magic of Anki. So let's open the ad and make sure it's added to the right deck. Yes, it is. In the front. So I'll put define endomysium. The answer is encloses each muscle fiber. Press add. Okay, now that is in my Anki deck. So if I open it, it says I have one new thing to do. One new card to answer. So I, if I click it and press study now, it asks me to define endomysium. And I'm gonna type... I forgot. I was too busy on the tutorial. But I forgot. But if, it's okay if you don't remember. As long as you guess. So, uh, muscle fibers. That's all I remember. Encloses each muscle fiber. As you can see, I forgot it. But whether I got it correct or not, it, the middle one says 10 minutes. So it will ask me again in 10 minutes or less. But since I got it wrong, I'm gonna press less than one minute, which is again. Now, I forgot it again. Encloses muscle fibers. Okay, that's kind of correct. So I'm gonna press good. It asked me again. Why? Because I don't have any other cards in this deck. If I had other cards in this deck, it would ask me that like, before, beforehand. But since there's no other cards in this deck, I'm gonna answer again. What's the answer? Closes each muscle fiber. Okay, I got it correct. And as you can see, it says in one day. And tomorrow, it will ask me this same question again. But after that, it will ask me the same question in three days, in seven days, and then one, one month. So it's always exponentially growing. And then that's it. That's how I study for the leap med. And I know it sounds too simple, but actually that's how simple it is. Active recall and spaced repetition helps me to memorize things that it's difficult to memorize if I just read it again or if I just highlighted or make, made notes. So if you want a simple and automated way to reinforce active recall and spaced repetition, download Anki now. That's all my study methods for this exam and I hope to see you in another video. Thank you and see you soon.